Hi, my name's Adam, and today we're gonna to talk about my three favorite bow boots for 2023, 2024. I only picked three of them. There are five out there right now. The other two that exist, I am not a huge fan of, but we will not uh, spend too much time talking about why I don't like them today. We'll get into that at a different point. First, we're gonna talk about the Atomic Hawks Ultra X XTD 130. All of these boots, by the way, with the exception of the Solomon, have too long of names, and I think that is my only critique uh, for two or three of these. First one, this is your touring option. If you're looking for a BOA 50-50 touring boot option, it's really the Hawks. Pin compatible, great walk mode. Atomic really has kind of figured this system out for a walk mode that is actually going to stay locked, give you the stability you need on the downhill, and still feel like a performance all-mountain boot. Atomic has really done a good job over the last few years of figuring out this walk mode. Um, there's a lot of brands out there that have walk modes and 50-50 touring boots. Some of them are better than others. I would say this, along with the current Technica one, is really the gold standard when it comes to ski hike features. So really cool there. They also do this thing that actually kind of bothers me, but it is a good thing for a lot of people. They have these little bales that go over your buckles to keep everything nice and tight when you're touring because obviously you don't want to have your boot cramped down a ton when you're in hike mode. You want it to be the cuff to be able to go back and forth pretty freely. You get 54 degrees of motion in this boot if you have it fairly loose. It is basically uninterrupted motion within that point. When you go in and you lock it down, this bale still stays down over it, which is actually the reason that I don't love it as much. I feel like it kind of gets in the way. It's a little tight. It's not It's not my favorite, but I get it. It is somewhat necessary, and it does belong on a boot like this, in my opinion. Next thing we'll talk about is the ability to make this boot a custom fitting boot. It is a heat moldable shell, a heat moldable liner. They do all of the things to make sure that you can get into this boot even if you have a slightly wider foot. I can fit into this thing and I have a 102 last foot, even though this is a 98 last boot. Obviously takes a little bit of boot work, some heating in a shop to get that fit dialed in. So I would highly recommend that you do that. I'm not gonna pull out the liner, but Atomic has always done a really good job at making a nice liner. Some people don't know, but the liner is the most important part, the most expensive part of the ski boot. It's like where your foundation is. If you don't have a good liner, probably not not gonna have good skiing boot. So again, shout out to Atomic. I think this is a great product. At math pricing, it's $949. So keep that in mind. This is your premium option from Atomic as well as some of the other ones that we'll talk about in a minute. The BOA system. BOA systems are important and you're gonna see them on a lot of boots going forward because as opposed to pushing down like a traditional four buckle boot will on the bottom two buckles, the BOA system actually wraps your foot a lot more evenly with a lot less tension. So. In this particular fit, I think everything else is done really well. The BOA system just adds a little extra layer of fit, proper fit to the boot. Um, everybody that is here on this table has designed their boot specifically to work with BOA. It's not just a BOA slapped onto the boot, which is an important note as well. This is the Solomon Supra. I'm holding the 120 flex version. Obviously it does come in a 130 flex version as well. I like this boot because of the BOA boot options that are out there. This is the one that is comfort oriented, still technically a performance boot, especially if you ask the people at Solomon, but I find this to be more comfort oriented than anything else. So if you're looking for a hundred last boot that is comfortable, that gives you good performance, but is something you can spend all day in, Solomon does a great job. Similar story here to the Atomic as far as fitting the boot goes. Custom shell available on this thing, so you can custom mold the liner and the shell of this boot to your liking as far as fit goes. Pretty good liner on this as well. Um, they use this XORAB 4D liner and it's super comfortable. The fit out of the box is very cushy. I think if you're looking for that boot that has some sort of comfort aspect to it, but still is performance oriented, the Solomon is the way to go. Now, this has become the gold standard when it comes to actually getting into a performance all mountain ski boot. 100 millimeter last, so fairly wide in terms of like what people are used to skiing when it comes to high performance boots like plug boots, a little wider than that. This is a full on performance ski boot. Fairly heavy in comparison to everything else, but it's got a lot of energy in it. As you ski the boot, as you flex the boot, you can actually feel the boot pushing you into every turn. And I think it makes a big difference in the way that the boot skis overall. They have this carbon infused cuff 
all around the top part of the boot. Again, adds a little bit of rigidity to the boot, adds a little bit of that snappy feel that you look for in a performance boot. I think this is, like I said, as good as you can possibly get. I also like the way that they place the boa on this boot. It's got a little buffer here and it actually kind of seats the boa in a little bit lower than some of the other options that are there. So it's a little more out of the way. I know everybody's big concern with boa is breaking them. We've talked about it in other videos before and I'm sure we'll talk about it again, but this ball will release on impact so that it doesn't break. They're super durable in comparison to previous ball models that have existed. So if you've had problem with, problems with boa in the past, you won't necessarily have a problem with the ski boot version of a boa because it is entirely different, even though it looks fairly similar. Last thing on this boot, and I am gonna pull out the liner because it is the reason that people buy this boot. This comes stock with a zip fit liner. It is the first stock zip fit liner that comes in ski boots. These are cork liners. They are extremely comfortable, extremely high performance, and they are pricey. Like these are $500 liners. ZipFit expects you to get up to 700 days apparently in one of these things, which is crazy compared to what the regular life is on the traditional liner being at 100 to 150, maybe 200 days if you're really going crazy before those things break out. I have personally spent a few hundred days in my ZipFits and I honestly can tell you that they fit just as good now as they did when I first got into them, if not better. Speed lace system that comes from their Nordic boots, which is actually smaller than the one that ZipFit uses on all of their stock liners. So it's a little more out of the way, a little cleaner looking and a lot more simple. I know this isn't like a sexy looking liner when you take it out of the box. I actually think like if you were to just look at this and go, how much does this cost? People would be like $25, but the fit is completely unmatched when it comes to this thing. So. Those are the three bow options for 2024 that I really like. Let me know what you people think, what one fits your foot and what purpose you're gonna be using your bow boot for.